So one of the dreaded questions, why do you want to be a doctor and not a nurse? Now, <clears throat> this is something that worries people a lot. But actually, and, and you may get it in various forms, such as, say, why not a physician associate? But this is actually, if you think about it ahead of time and have some good reasons, is one that is really a great opportunity to show that you have good knowledge of what uh, a doctor does. And also that you it's, it's not a deterrent or a sign of lack of commitment if you've looked at everything looked at all the other professions and really got to understand what they are and and done some serious research in finding the right ones for you because that backs up that medicine is is more for you if after looking at all of them you've chosen that one so it's a good way to start is to highlight the similarities and differences between nurses and doctors um, that can be um, in, in lots of ways, so their responsibility, for example, um, the, the training that they get. So uh, you get a lot more procedural and much longer training when you're in medical school rather than studying to be a nurse. And then the different qualities that are required between doctors and, and nurses, such as, say, you know, decision making. And <clears throat> responsibility wise, you as the doctor, you're ultimately um, the, the one who's responsible for the patient. The, the nurse has the, to, the duty of care to perform what's within their remit, but the overall book stops with the doctors. So, um, and it's important to understand that the differences complement each other between those two. And that's why we have the MDT and, and we, you know, each skill is needed and each is equally important. So you can include some personal examples of where you have um, of where you've seen these. So on your work experience, you might have seen how the doctor may have done this, whereas the other nurse, or whereas the nurse did this, and and then finish off the answer always by um, reaffirming why you want to do medicine. And and despite realizing the differences and and being aware of them, you still know that medicine and have a good reason why medicine is still the one for you but make sure a good answer will always show respect and the importance of the other allied healthcare professions now some of the weaker answers or the mistakes that people make is not appreciating that both are equally important sometimes i think nursing is actually harder than medicine because firstly you have to be with the patient 24 7 if someone is sick and dying as the doctor you come in offer some treatment do what you can and, and help but usually you're not the one who has to stay there and nurse them all the way until until they die. Um, also, nurses always work 12 hour shifts, always, that pretty much every shift they do is a 12 hour shift um, in hospital, in the main hospital medical wards and, and, and A&E and things like that. There are some clinic based ones, but a lot of the time they do really much more difficult hours than doctors. Um, Another weakness that people can have is uh, using an example that, that, so for example, they might say doctors can prescribe and nurses can't. Well, nurses can prescribe and that just actually cements the reasons why you could actually be a nurse. It's actually an argument when you're trying to make a case for why you want to be a doctor rather than a nurse, saying something that a nurse can do just cements why you could be a nurse. So make sure that you know the duties of, of each. So that when you say a difference between what you can do as a doctor and not as a nurse, that you're actually saying something that's valid and a good reason for medicine and not nursing. Um, other mistakes people make are assuming that for some reason doctors have a higher status or they're better in, in the hospital or in society. That is just wrong and um, not a very good way to go about speaking about other professions. Disrespecting and patronising the profession is just going to get you in trouble and to score you poor marks and 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 it will be very difficult when you practice as a doctor if you undermine nurses they are your biggest ally so be respectful to them and appreciate just how important they are and um, and then another week uh, well we an aspect of a weak answer would be to forget to round off at the end why you want to be a doctor so discuss the pros and cons and then always finish off with how it's affirmed you want to be a doctor and then the ways questions can vary are something like what are the differences between the roles, the role of a nurse and that of a doctor? And are there any, any other healthcare professions that you have considered? And make sure you are well aware of what physician associates do as well, because they have very similar duties of a doctor. And it's important to know the reasons why you want to do that rather than be a physician associate.